Well, it's an annual tradition that lines up yard sales from Lake Erie almost all the way to the Mahoning River. Reporter Amanda Smith takes a look at what keeps this event going strong every year. The tour of Route 7 yard sale event opened up today, and shoppers like Tina Klingensmith were not disappointed. Well, I got a clock, um, some jewelry, a lot of stuff for my grandchildren. I got a remote control car for my husband <laughs> to play with the grandson. <laughs> this is the first year Klingensmith visited the sale. She said she really likes the idea. Gives people, you know, a chance to see what's out here this way. Like they said, I'm from Greenville, I don't ever come come this way very often, so it is kind of neat. People sign up to host sales and stands all along Route 7. Some are family yard sales, others are arts and crafts vendors looking to find new customers. I think people are just interested to see what, you know, is out and available. You know, we have everything here from <laughs> antiques to fruit. This is the seventh year for the sale. It begins almost at the Mahoning River and follows Route 7 north to Lake Erie. Businesses set up snack stands along the way so hungry shoppers can take a break. Fruit and vegetable vendor Matt Bible says it gives his stand in Brookfield a boost. In the last few years, it's uh, it's really got a big following. Uh, I was really surprised when I walked out this morning and just seen the amazing amount of traffic that we have. It's unlike any other weekend. Uh, it's kind of exciting. It's nice to see everybody out too. If you missed today's event, you'll have to wait until next year. Tour of Route 7 is one day only. In Trumbull County, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.